Hey, it's Chime Time, and this is Cooking Avenue, and today we're making um, Cuban sandwiches with corned beef and uh, cabbage. It's like a fusion between, uh, you know, uh, Cuban food and Irish food. I originally made it for uh, St. Patrick's Day for my family, and they really loved it. So you want to go get some Cuban bread. If you live in a Hispanic neighborhood, it should be really easy. Uh, this is Pan de Manteca. It's Cuban style, and it's from Texiada's Bakery. I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyway, this is what it looks like right here. It's delicious. It really, like, the bread's really good because it accents the flavor of the cabbage and the corned beef. <laughs> I like it much better, like, in a sandwich than having it with the other soda Irish soda bread yeah I wasn't a fan of the Irish soda bread sorry <laughs> but anyway uh hey move, move closer yeah, yeah 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 so we have um you got your uh cabbage that boils over on the top and you want to add this like later on because you're going to be boiling the corned beef for hours you know this is Nathan's brand corned beef it recommended two and a half hours to three hours, and that's what it looks like when it's been boiling for a while. Um, so we are going to um, basically cut our bread and do whatever. So I have cuisine art knives, and uh, they're color-coded, so it's really easy to tell your friend, hey, grab that, grab that color instead of like, no, not that knife, not this knife, grab that color, you know? That's what makes it so great. I'm gonna take the bread and you wanna um, go on like a, I don't know, Carly, how, how, big, how big a piece do you want? Uh, probably like right there. Right here? Yeah. Cut that. Kinda wanna hold it from both sides, you know, that helps. And boom, you know, you got your surface area. Have that prepped and ready. Oh my god, it's such a disaster best out there. <laughs> Don't even look. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take this whole thing off right here. Turn the stove off. Boom. Uh, actually, I really want to use the, reuse that. Uh, oh, got a little dirty. Reuse that. Reuse that plate. For the actual. Um, yeah. A little tiny counter space. Yeah, it's fun. That's what it's like to live in New York City. Tiny tiny counter. You know, I'm not sure if you can. I'm gonna po point it a little bit at the. Uh, you know, the the cooking area. I don't know how well it's being filmed. We're filming on a GoPro, by the way. It's rough. Rough yeah. stuff. We want to take the spatula right here. Now this thing's gonna get really messy because it's covered. It's like water soaked, as you can see. So water is gonna get all over the place. Yep. So you want to take kind of like. Put it underneath your little cutting board to let the water run off of it. It smells so good. Yeah, it does smell really good. And you're going to want to get the purple knife, cuisine art. And this is your steak knife. And you're going to want to cut this guy into a... Uh, Thin layers. You know, it might not look too appetizing on video. I mean, one, it's a GoPro, it looks weird, but we're using a fluorescent light, so not the best lighting. This is going to come out a little extra on the blue side. If you got a good uh, LED or incandescent light, this should look a little bit more red. And, uh,. These are some big old pieces. Oh, good God. Use a 
spatula again. Did you call that a spatula? Yeah. What do you call them? Tongs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I call them too, actually. <laughs> I just remembered. That's what I call them too. Now, these things have like a lot of fat on them. So we're going to guess again. Because Carly might not like that much fat on, on her meat. Yeah, that is a ton. Freaking ton of fat on the meat. So, do that a little scoop. <laughs> to trim the fat off. Save oh, that, that for uh, the dogs. I don't have any dogs. <laughs> so, plate. There we go. And make sure you're pointing that down at the. Uh, yeah. Me too. Get yeah. Some close ups. There we go. I have a little tiniest cutting board, you know? New York City style. There we go. Very meaty. Yum, yum, yum. And then, I'm going to take your uh, spatula to cover up the other. Uh, the corn beef water, the beef water. You want know, to take some of your uh, cabbage? You know, I, I cut this guy, um, like I used it half a cabbage on this guy. So, um, you know, that's enough for two people and, and leftovers. Not a bad move. Mm -hmm. If you miss the, the sandwich, you don't feel bad. There's, there's extra. <laughs> and what's cool about um, boiling... The, uh, the cabbage in the same container as the meat, like if you look at the ugly meat stew, it gives it like, it gives the cabbage like a corned beef flavor. So it's like tastier vegetables. Mm. You know, it might not be as unhealthy as, as, as it tastes. It's actually really uh, not that bad to use the steam from, from meat. But there you have it. You have your, uh, your Cuban St. Patrick's Day special. <laughs> You know, say no to soda bread. <laughs> you want to taste it? Yeah. Carly, you want to taste it? Okay. You want to, you want to be on, on the camera? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, cool. Car Carly's going to have uh, some of this huge meat. <laughs> Good? Mm-hmm. Good? Okay, let me, let, me have, let me have a bite. This mm -hmm. is a humongous piece. I don't, I don't know if you're going to eat all that, so that's probably going to have a little bit. <laughs> it like falls apart perfectly, too, in your mouth. Mm. Yeah, there's something about the bread just being really light, you know, it's it's very fluffy. Something with salty stuff today, yeah? <laughs> We're in a salt pick. I want to put some more cabbage on there. It's not messy enough, it's not coming apart. It's not messy enough? Okay. Yeah, we're going to make this really messy. Look, look at this. It's like the cabbage disappeared. Cook as much cabbage as you want. We've been eating it all week for some reason. There we go. Messy bite. That's messy. Mmm. <laughs> that was really good. Like when when people are eating so much, um, or they're they're eating to the point that they're making a mess. That's a that's a sign that you did a good job, and uh, this this is a meal that will deliver that. <laughs> you know those croissants before? They're like you know you gotta you gotta eat those over the, over the plate. <laughs> those came apart. Anyway, uh, I'm Chime Time. This is Cooking Avenue. Carly's holding the camera. We're in the middle of the American quarantine, <laughs> and uh, and then we got uh, the Cuban. St. Patrick's Day special. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Thank you.